Hi, I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips. This episode of Tablet Tips is a little different. It's the question and answer Tablet Tips. Now, many of you have emailed in questions, and I've responded with answers to you individually, but I've not really shared some of those answers. So this is the opportunity I'm taking to share some questions that I thought would be useful. Now, the first question comes from Nisha. She asks, Can I simply use Gmail to store our documents by manually uploading them? Is there a risk risk with that? Is there a limit to how many can be stored? Now, a few episodes back, I talked about online backup solutions. These included Carbonite, Mosey, and Jungle Disk. These three solutions are robust automatic online backup solutions for all of your documents. Gmail just happens to be an email client with almost 7 gigabytes of storage. So it's pretty roomy. I have over 10,000 emails and I'm only using 8% of it. It it has a little growing room. Now, for those really important documents, I mean like a 500 point assignment worth 90% of your grade in a class, I would not blame you for emailing it to yourself. Having that thing stored everywhere possible is probably a good idea if the file is that important. However, Gmail won't function as a robust online backup solution. You really need to use a dedicated solution. There's no excuse for you not to use Mozzie 2 gigabytes of free backup if you have no backup solution right now, especially if you're a student and you have important documents that you simply can't live without. Now, our next question comes from Anonymous. The question was basically, should I have a black and white laser printer for college or should I have a color inkjet printer? Now, this this is a very subjective question. I went with a low-end HP laser jet printer and I have been very happy with it. It is a lot cheaper to buy a toner cartridge once a year than have to constantly buy ink. Now, I use my tablet for all of my classes. I have very little paper. What paper I do get, I scan in. But professors still will ask for printed copies of papers. Now, most of the time, these are papers that you typed. Most of the time, there aren't graphics. And some of the time, professors will explicitly state they want it printed from a laser printer and not an inkjet printer. Now, if you want to go cheap, you can get a inkjet printer that comes free with a computer, but it's really a decision that you have to make. My suggestion will be a laser printer, but if there's any reason you think you need color, you can go with a black and white. Along those same lines, the university offers a wide variety of printing solutions. There are various stations where you can print. Additionally, different departments offer students a certain number of prints. And there are just opportunities, depending on what major you are, what school you're in, and who you know, if you have access to a printer on campus. So ask around. You may have opportunities to print on campus and not use your own printer. If you need to print, for example, in color, or if you need to print from a laser printer and you have an inkjet printer. So use your resources. Now our last question isn't even a question, but it comes from Roshan. He was interested in buying the Toshiba tablet and placed his order with Toshiba and suddenly noticed it cheaper somewhere else. When he called Toshiba, he learned that there's a student discount. He received approximately an 11% discount on his Toshiba M700. Now, the Toshiba M700 is one of my personal favorites when it comes to tablets. I have the Toshiba M405, so I'm a generation behind. And it's just a generally good tablet. However, Toshiba has not partnered with the University of Louisville to sell those tablets at a discount directly to students through the university, unlike many of the other manufacturers. So, if you are interested in purchasing a Toshiba tablet, It is well worth your time to call Toshiba and ask if they have a student discount. While I don't think it's available directly through the website, you can still receive the discount. Now, that about wraps it up. Those were three emails. I've received a lot more. I'm looking forward to receiving more emails. 
with various questions. I really enjoy sharing these. I'll answer your question as quick as I can, and if it's good enough to share, I'll share it on an episode of Tablet Tips. As always, thanks for watching. Our email address is stug at speedstug.com, and our website is speedstug.com. I'll see you next time.